Okay guys, uh, this is Jason with FPV Model. Today what we want to do is we want to show you, a, uh, we want to show you an expansion board. Uh, this is a 14 channel expansion board. What it does is it plugs into the S bus port of a receiver. Now the good thing about this expansion board is it can go on to, uh, it can go on to any receiver as long as it has the S bus capability. Uh, this is our mile C uh, receiver, good for uh, 20 kilometers and plus depending on your antennas that you use. Uh, this is the FrySky X8R. It only uh, only gets about a kilometer range, but uh, this isn't to increase your distance. It's just merely to increase your channels. Uh, this particular receiver has eight channel inputs for it, but uh, with this expansion board, you can bring uh, you can bring those up to 14 channels. Uh, no software to download, nothing to uh, nothing to try to bind to your receive or to your transmitter. You don't have to bind it to a receiver either. Uh, the only thing you have to do is plug the cable in and then take all of your uh, servo wires and connect them to the board, and it will run the information directly to the transmitter. So here uh, we have uh, six servos set up, We've got an ESC connected to it, and then we just run the uh, run the cable from the S bus output. To the S bus in input of the uh, of the receiver here, and as you can see, uh, all of our um, all of our channels are working with the radio. So this is just another uh, this is just another option of things you can do. Uh, one thing about a lot of these receivers is people find themselves trying to do the uh, eight channel crunch where they're trying to figure out everything they want to put on their uh, plane or their multi-rotor and they've only, got a, they've only got eight channels to do it with. So this is very compatible, it'll work with just about any receiver you have as long as it has an S-Bus uh, -bus input on it. And um, it's pretty good. For cases like, say, if you're uh, if you're flying a plane, you've got flaps. You're also wanting to use a head tracker. Uh, a lot of the times, you'll find by the time you connect your autopilot, your head tracking system, uh, your ailerons, your elevator, uh, your rudder, you can notice that you start running out of ch channels. And it's very common for people to find that they have a need for maybe 10, 11, or 12 channels, and then they just uh, the receivers don't have that amount, uh, don't have that amount of channels for them. So this one goes up to 14. Uh, very easy item. You don't have to worry about, uh, don't have to worry about any software to download, or you don't have to worry about binding it. It's basically just plug and play. Uh, you have seven channels on the left, seven channels on the right. Uh, going from top to bottom on the left hand side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you have eight, nine, ten on the right hand side going from the top to bottom with the S bus cable being plugged into the bottom side on the right. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you can send me a message to jason at fpbmodel.com or you can also send us a message to sales at fpbmodel.com.